Hey, what's up everybody? Fate here and welcome back to a new video. Today, we'll be doing another Pokemon card unboxing video. This time, well, last time we opened up the Armor Rouge EX box. The Armor Rouge EX Premium Collection box. Uh, this time, we will be opening up this bad boy. So I'm very, I'm looking forward to opening this bad boy up today. This is the Greninja EX uh, Premium Collection box? No. This is the Greninja EX Special Illustration Collection box. Right? So let's let's not get it twisted. Let's not disrespect the box now. Uh, however, I'm very excited about this box because it is a Shrouded Fable Collection box. So... I don't have any cards from this uh, from this set, so it is exciting to open up some packs from a new set that you've never opened before to add whatever you get to the collection. But on top of that, the promos that I get. Uh, Greninja is my favorite Pokemon of all time. If you guys don't know, then yeah, Greninja is my favorite Pokemon of all time type shit. So like, I'm really looking forward to getting this box opened. I've had this in my room for a few days. This costed $30 at GameStop, which is exactly the same as the Arm Rouge EX box. And I am hoping to get better pulls out of this bad boy than the Arm Rouge EX box. Because the Arm Rouge EX box probably is stapled in history on this channel as the worst Pokemon card unboxing videos for the I video for the IRL portion pack wise throughout the entire history of my channel that had the easily the worst pulls of all time on my channel the best thing I got throughout that entire thing was like a hollow I don't even remember what hollows I got but yeah uh, talking about that let's talk about what's inside of this box shall we so we're gonna read all this first we're gonna read this little uh, this started Started doing this when uh, the Armor's EX box video happened. And we're going to do it for this video and hopefully for all the future Pokemon card videos. So we're going to read the little uh, paragraph right here. And then we're going to read what's actually inside the box. <clears throat> Greninja EX strikes and slashes with stealth. Sneak quietly through the night and adorn your collection with artistic flair in this special collection... From the Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Shrouded Fable Expansion. Inside is a special illustration rare style promo card featuring Greninja EX. Plus foil cards of Froakie and Frogadier so you can complete the evolution chain. And with the included Pokemon TCG booster packs, you're sure to find even more awesome Pokemon for your next battle. That was the little, uh, the little paragraph sorted out so basically it's just you feel me okay n now for what's actually in the box the pokemon tcg scarlet and violet shrouded fable greninja ex special illustration collection includes one full art promo so basically the greninja ex promo along with the froakie and frogadier cards five shrouded fable packs and a code card to be able to redeem the uh probably just the promos on TCG Live, which I am really looking forward to adding all three of those promos to my collection because I said it once already, and I'll say it again right now. Greninja and its evolution line is easily my favorite Pokemon of all time. Probably my second favorite is Charizard. However, <laughs> Charizard has been hit very hard with all the, uh, with all the bullshit with it being quote-unquote overrated. I do kind of agree with that whole thing, but still, this isn't the video to talk about that. So, now that we know everything about what's in here, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open, shall we? <sighs> Don't think I have anything else I want to speak about before getting this open. It's, there we go. Got this little thing off. Okay. Yup, yup, yup. Bam, got the back off. We're just going to set it to the side for now, and then uh, when... Right before we transfer over to the TCG Live portion of this video, that's when I'll clean all this up, get the trash all out of here, 
uh, put all the cards where they need to go and all that. Get TCG Live set up. Get the code cards where they need to be, and you know, do all that stuff. Anyone who's been here for any of the uh, for any of these card openings knows by now uh, how things go around here when it comes to the Pokemon card videos. Okay, so now we got this little bit off. We got the packs out, now to get the promos. This box is pretty simple for the most part, just the packs and the promo cards. We're going to put these over here. Oh, I should have grabbed my sleeves. I don't have my sleeves out. Whatever, I'll I'll deal with the sleeve stuff after, uh, after the IRL portion of this video is done. Alright, so now, before we get into the packs, let's look at the promos real quick. First, we got the nice little Froki, which... The glare is going to hit all of these really hard, so I apologize for that in advance. If only I could fix my lighting. I'm just kind of using my room light. Maybe if I had, like, an actual camera instead of a webcam on my laptop, maybe this wouldn't be as bad, but... Kind of got to deal with it. This is the Froki. It's a water type, 70 HP. And its only move is try bouncing, does 30 damage, costs 1 energy, and uh, it's a flip a coin attack, saying flip a coin if tails this attack does nothing. So basically what it does is if you get tails it does nothing, but if it is heads then you hit your opponent for 30 damage. So that's the Froki. Here is the Frogadier, good old evolution of Froki. It has 90 HP, also a water type. It evolves from Froakie. And it also has one uh, uh, attack. <clears throat> this one is called Strafe. It costs 2 energy and does 40 base damage. You may switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. So I guess it's kind of like a U-turn. like in, It's kind of like a card game version of a U-turn. Where... It will do a bit of damage to your opponent and then switch your Pokemon out when you use it, which I think is nice. Uh, and something I forgot to mention with Froki that also applies to Frogadier is both Froki and Frogadier have no resistances, costs one energy to retreat, and has a two times weakness to electric. Okay, that's the Frogadier. Now for the final card, for the final promo card and the big reason why I got this box, the Greninja EX. The glare is going to be the hardest on this one just because of how amazing this art is. But wow, that is a beautiful card art. Yeah, I will say, they had a box at GameStop just like this, but for the Kingdra EX, for the exact same price, and best believe, next time I go to GameStop, that's the next box I'm getting. That is... And I did see like a $20 uh, King Gambit box. I think I'm going to get that too. So those might be my next targets for next time I go to GameStop. But just know that. Back to the Greninja EX though. It is final evolved form of the Froki line. Water type. 300 HP. And it has two attacks. It has two attacks. First one is called Stealthy Shuriken. It costs one energy. This attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. So it looks like Stealthy Shuriken, it does 40 damage, but it only does it does 40 damage to any Pokemon on the opponent's board. Meaning I think that you can either attack the active Pokemon or attack any of the benched Pokemon that it has. The second attack that he has is called Torrential Slash, or tori Torrential, Torrential, not entirely sure how to pronounce that word, but it's that and then Slash. Costs 2 energy to perform, does 120 base damage, and the description says, if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 120 more damage. So usually it'll just do 120 damage base. However, if you've already damaged that, a po that Pokemon in a previous turn, this move, instead of doing 120 damage, it'll do a total of 240 damage, which I think is pretty decent. And then this one, just like the uh, Froakie and Frogadier, 
has a two times weakness to electric, costs one energy to retreat, and did I say anything about these two bozos? I don't think so. Uh, this guy also has the EX rule that the other two didn't. Uh, it says when your Pokemon EX is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards, which pretty sure is exactly the same for the Pokemon V cards. So, yeah. There's all the promos. Love those promos, by the way. Okay. I need to find a good spot for these. Hopefully, I'll... Okay, let me just... There, my mouse can stay right there for the time being. Now let's put the cards there. Now that the promos are out of the way, let's get into the five packs. They're all the exact same set, so it doesn't really matter the order. I'm just going to set them down like so. Bam. And then let's get into the first pack. This one, all of them are Shrouded Fable, so I don't need to say the set. This one has a, a Monkey Dory pack art. By the way, guys, there's quite a few different uh, YouTube videos I could do on this channel that are Pokemon related. I could do a Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play. I could also do a Let's Play on one and or both. I do plan on eventually doing both DLCs. Role play, well, not role play, uh, Let's Play. And I think that would be fun. For both me and for y'all. Me because I'd love to be able to play through that. And y'all because I feel like you guys would enjoy that content. Sorry guys, one of the empty packs fell off my bed. Okay, I'll have to pick that up after the recording's done. Unless I can reach it. Okay, oh there it is. Oh no, that's, that's from last pack opening. What the hell? Hold on guys. Okay, um... Yeah, the problem is the trash is too close to the side. Okay, can I reach any? There it is. Okay, guys, I got it. It's all good. Alright, apologies for that. Ah, oh, fuck, I already saw the, uh... I already saw the energy, and I'm pretty sure I saw what was out the back, too. So I already know we got a good pull here. We got a Psychic Energy... Dartrix, that's a pretty cool Pokemon. Let me just put these over here. Absol, Houndoom, Rowlet to go with the Dartrix, pretty cool. All we need is Decidueye, whether it's regular or Hisuian, we will have a full evolution line. Power Glass, first trainer item. Ooh, Iron Moth, that's a cool one. Iron Moth, so we got our first uh, future Pokemon. Cassiopeia. Love to see that. Ooh. Reverse, first reverse hollow is a Genesect. That's a cool guy. Ooh. Holy shit. Okay. Second reverse hollow slot is a Monkey Dory EX. Holy shit. We already got good pulls in this. Oh my god. That is sleeve worthy. If I had my sleeves out, the Greninja EX would get a sleeve, and so would this. Let's see what the rare is. It's a Hollow Zoroark. Okay. But this was definitely worth it. We got a... Some kind of secret rare. It's not Trainer Gallery. It's some kind of... Like... Uh... I don't know what kind of art it is. I don't know if it's an alt art or what, but it's a Monkey Dory EX. I don't know if you guys are able to get a good look at it, but there it is. It's a dark type, has 210 HP, and it has an ability and an attack. The ability is called, oh no you don't. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, and if you have any Pekorunt EX in play, your opponent takes one fewer prize card. So it seems to me like any a deck that uses Monkey Dory EX needs to probably have a Pekorunt EX as well, which is interesting. The attack is called Dirty Headbutt. It costs 3 energy and does 190 base damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Dirty Headbutt. Basically, it's like a... There's a lot of moves in the card game that's like this, 
basically if uh if you attack with this move in one turn you can't attack on your next i mean you basically got to be a little bit careful as to like how, how you use that attack i'm gonna just place that card with my with my promos to avoid it getting dirty Next pack we're going to open up is this one with the Okie Dogie pack art. Uh, well, I was going to say this earlier, but now is a good time to say it as well. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, because that would really support my channel a lot. And uh, hit the notification bell. So you don't miss an upload. If you really fuck with the content, you could uh, hit that notification bell. Stay in tuned and all that shit. You feel me? And then, like, if you got something to say about the video, whether it's good or good or bad, just leave it down in the comments below. All of that is good for the algorithm, so even if you don't fuck with me, we can still benefit each other here. Hell, maybe if you don't like this type of video, or maybe if you can point out something you don't like about the video... Whether it's the video quality or the mic quality is not so good or something like that. Just let, it, let me know in the comment section, you know, so I can try to fix that problem. You know what I mean? Uh, but as for this pack, I'm going to guess fire. Ooh. Not going to lie, I got a glimpse of that energy when I was talking. My hands were moving around a bit and I saw like a bit of the red. So I'm not going to count that as a correct pack guess. We got Absol. We got Fracture. That's an interesting one. We got a Duskull. We got Toxicroak. We got Colrus's Tenacity. We got Decidueye. Ooh, we got the full evolution line all ready for that. That's badass. It's amazing. We got Decidueye. Binding Mochi. Interesting. Uh, first reverse hollow is a stuffle. Second reverse hollow is an inke. And the rare is a hollow dusk noir. That's a cool hollow, not gonna lie. After we got the pull that we did in the first pack, I ain't tripping about that one. So, yeah, let's go straight into the next pack. You feel me? This pack, it has, I think that's a Pekka Runt on the pack art. I haven't played far enough into Pokemon Violet to uh, to actually remember, like off the top of my head, everything about like the DLC st stuff. I've completed the full game for the base game for both Scarlet and Violet, and I've basically completed everything I've needed to for. Okay. Basically completed everything I've needed to for the for the Kitakami part of the DLC for Pokemon Violet. And I've started the second DLC. I just haven't gotten really into playing the second DLC on Violet. Maybe going back to doing playthroughs on the channel will help me out with getting back into it. But my capture card's messed up so you won't be seeing any... Pokemon Let's Play videos, at least for like anything on my Switch. Any Let's Plays that I need to do on my Switch, you probably won't see for a while unless I can get my uh, capture card fixed anytime soon and get my OBS thing set up again. I have factory reset my computer not once but twice since my uh, hiatus started. So all my uh, settings I had set up and all my scenes and shit I had set up on my OBS has been wiped since then so it's gonna take some time to get everything back but let's get into this pack uh i already saw the energy it's a fighting energy my bad i did that twice now got a fracture again cool 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 let me fix this stack over here you can never go wrong with a fracture sneasel okay let me make sure i don't accidentally rip something we got varoom we got Axew to go with the two Fracture we've already gotten. Now we just need Haxorus and we'll get that full line. We got Colress's Tenacity again. Cool, cool, cool. We got Eveltal. That's an interesting Pokemon to get in like the uncommon section. 
Next up, we got a Genesect, a regular, not a reverse hollow like earlier. Speaking of reverse hollow, the first one we got is a Power Glass. Cool, cool, cool. Second reverse hollow is a Sneasel. And the rare is a Hollow Blood Moon Ursa Luna. That is interesting. For sure, that is really cool. Like, genuinely type shit. Alright. Nothing too crazy out of that. We did, uh, however, get a Blood Moon Ursa Luna card. Which is always cool. Like, for real. Alright, this next pack is a Monkey Dory pack art. Something I've noticed about these packs is that I didn't get any Pheasantipity arts. That's pretty weird. Five packs in here, and we got two Monkey Dory pack arts. Uh, and one Okie Dogie pack art, and I'm gonna spoil what the next pack art is for the final pack. It's a, uh, it's another Pecorunt. So yeah. Okay, at the very least for this pack, I can actually guess the energy. I'm gonna go with Psychic. It's Leaf. Okay. So we got a Leaf energy. We got an Axew. Make sure the stack over here is fine. Sneasel. It's like the third Sneasel we've gotten. That's crazy. Furfru. Dartrix. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, that's a new trainer. Zero Six Mes Machinations. Okay. Malamar. Have I gotten any Entei's yet? Because I've gotten... That's at least the second Malamar I've gotten. This is an interesting rare. We got Sylveon. <laughs> Love to see that. First reverse hollow is a Blood Moon Ursaluna. Ooh! Second reverse hollow spot is a Full Art Horsey. That looks beautiful. That's sleeve worthy. And the rare is a Dust Noir. Okay. So we add that over there. However, this Horsey is a good pull. That is a pull right there. We're adding that to the uh, good old collection over here. I don't really feel like that's worth reading out. However, once we get the uh, the Kingdra box, that could be added to my little horsey thing. Because I'm pretty sure that, just like this box, has the full evolution line for that bad boy. So yeah, I am looking forward to getting that Kingdra EX box for sure. I was actually originally planning on getting the Kingdra EX box with this box. And just buying both of them together. And then just opening up the Kingdra box instead of the Armor Rouge box. Then I decided last minute to just switch it out. Leave the Kingdra box behind and take the Armor Rouge box. Which could be a... Uh, which could be looked at as a bad thing considering the pulls we got from the Armor Rouge box. You can go check out that video if you don't know what kind of pulls I got. But yeah. We're going to get to the final pack of this video. This one has the... Pekka Runt Art again. And let's crack this bad boy open. The final pack of the IRL portion of this video. Get the code card over here. Move the energy to the correct slot. And then, guess the energy. We're gonna guess fire. It's fighting. Okay. It's the final energy we have to move. Thought that was a hollow or something. Next up is Duskull. If we got a we got a couple Dusk Noirs. So now that we got that Duskull, if we can get a Dusk Clops, we can have the full evolution line for that. Now we got Houndoom. Stuffle. Joltik. Eveltal. It's like the second or third one we got. Genesect. That's also like the second or third one we got. Let me fix this stack over here. Sylveon. That's the second one we got. Ooh, that's an interesting. Uh, first reverse hollow was an Eevee to go with the couple Sylveons we've gotten. Second reverse hollow is an Axew. And the rare, the final rare and the final card of the IRL portion of this video is a hollow Zoroark. Damn. Okay. So three packs had nothing, had nothing crazy in it. And two packs had some decent pulls in it. I'm not going to lie. I am kind of curious to see how much 
the uh, the Monkey Dory card costs. I'll look it up on TCG Player to look how, look see how much that costs on there type shit. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's take a good look at everything we've pulled real quick before we transfer over to the TCG Live. So we got this lovely. Uh, sorry about the glare. All of these are gonna have shitty glare. We have the horsey full art card, which looks lovely. We have the Monkey Dory EX, which I think is the highlight of the pulls. It was the first pull we got, and it is easily the best. And then we got, of course, the uh, the promos. The Greninja EX, the Frogadier, and the Froakie. So I don't feel like showing you guys again. But, yeah, that was all the... Uh, that was all the pulls we got. That was everything we did for this. So now I'm going to get everything cleaned up, sort out everything in the IRL portion stuff, and uh, get everything transitioned over to the TCG Live portion. So I will see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, we are back. Now then, we have taken care of all the IRL stuff, and all the code cards have been submitted into the game. Now we just got to click this Collect All button and reap the benefits which is exactly what we're gonna do right now bam now we just gotta redeem the codes and then reap the benefits tight shit okay yeah i will say tcg live does have its moments where it's like really buggy all right froaky okay frogadier nice I hope the Greninja EX takes a second just so it can... Okay, never mind. Guess the uh, text is not going to be popped up. So there's all the promos. Now, with the packs. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear my clicking or not. Okay, maybe I'll switch to my good mouse. Wow, okay. There we go. Persian... Dusclops, Galvantula, Neutralization Zone, I assume that's an A-Spec. I wish the, uh, you know. Ooh, Pecoron EX. Okay, so we got Pecoron EX and an A-Spec out of that. At least I assume it's an A-Spec. So the Pecoron EX, I wish I was able to get IRO with the Monkey Dory, considering it looks like both of those could be working together in the same pack. Well, the same uh, deck type shit. But I got the Monkey Dory RL and I got the Pega Run on here. So it's not a big deal. Veltal, Krogunk. If I can get the Monkey Dory on here, though, it could go crazy. Oh, speak of the devil. I don't think I got the same artwork, but yeah, we got Monkey Dory and Pega Run EX and I think an A spec. I'll have to see once uh, all the packs are collected. But we're two packs in, and for the pack battle, oh, I forgot about something I wanted to talk about in the IRL portion. I'll just talk about it once this is over. Alright. Okay. Cool. Okay. Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Golbat. And Kingdra EX. Oh my god, we are three for three on the pulls right now. Okay, it is. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know if it's just my computer or if it's just the game in general. But for some reason, this computer and TCG Live does not mix well. For all I know, it could just be the game, though. We're three packs in. We got a Kingdra EX, a Monkey Dory EX, a Pekarunt EX, and I believe an Ace Pack. So far. Was that back-to-back -back Houndooms right there? Wow. Wow. And I think that was back-to-back -back Cassiopeias as well. All right. Didn't get anything crazy out of that pack, but I'll take it. Because we just got three back-to-back -back good packs. And we still got this last one, so... Okay. Yep. Looks like we got a fuck ton of Houndooms. We're actually already maxed out on Houndooms. Duskull and... Dusk Noir. Cool. So, that's all the TCG Live packs open. Now I'm just curious... 
the Kindred EX. Okay, so we got. So the thing I wanted to talk about during the. No, we'll talk about that after. Let's focus on the pack battle. The IRL portion, we got a full art horsey. And we got a. I want to say an alt art Monkey Dory EX or something. So for the TCG Live portion, we got Kingdra EX. Monkey, Monkey Dory EX, which doesn't look like it's the same one at all as the one I got IRL. But then we also got this Pekarunt EX. Now I'm curious just to see, wow, that is hella blurry. But I need to know what the hell that does. I wish I could read that. I'm sorry, is that registering? Is it being two? No. Um, oh, I did get an A-spec. Neutralization zone is an A-spec. Prevent all damage done to Pokemon that have that don't have a rule box. Both yours and your opponent's by attack. Okay, so it protects your EX and Vs. Or something. I do also want to check and see if the uh, blurriness will go away on the Pekarunt. Subjugation chains. Once during your turn, you may switch one of your bench dark type Pokemon, except any Pekarunt EX, with your active Pokemon. If you do, the new active Pokemon is now poisoned. You can't use more than one subjugated chains uh, ability each turn. Irritated outburst. This attack does 60 damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. That's interesting. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. So, as for the pack battle, I feel like both sides, both the IRL portion and the TCG Live portion, both sides put up a decent fight against each other. The IRL portion, we got the full art Kingdra and that like alt art, full art type of thing for the Monkey Dory EX. But then, like, at first we were like, damn, those pulls from the IRL portion are fire. Those are doing good so far. Those are good points for the pack battle for the IRL portion. Then we got to the TCG Live portion. First three packs. We got Pekarunt EX. Uh, neutralization Zone A-Spec. Which, the A-Specs I'm not going to have as... Uh, adding points but they are honorable mentions for this but we got the Pekarunt EX out of I think the first pack second pack we hit it Monkey Dory EX not the same one as the one I got in the IRL pack but it was a Monkey Dory EX nonetheless then the very next pack after that Kingdra EX now I'm like damn back to back to back packs over here whereas the IRL packs we got first pack had a good card second and third pack had nothing good fourth pack had something good and then fifth pack didn't have anything good whereas tcg live portion had first second third pack very good and then fourth and fifth wasn't very good so considering the amount of good things not only is the amount of good cards higher on this side than the other but also, in my opinion, the pulls are better on this side than the other. I'm going to have to give the win of this pack battle, in my opinion, to the TCG Live portion. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys believe that the IRL portion of the video won for the pack battle? Or do you guys believe that the TCG Live portion of the video won the pack battle like I do? I want to know what y'all think, so leave, leave leave a comment down below saying which one you think won. Saying if, say, uh, agree if you agree with me, and say disagree if you disagree with me. And I, if you do say disagree, I do want to see you put a reason for why you disagree with me on that. Now, as for something I wanted to talk about in the IRL portion, but forgot to. Whether or not this box is worth the price. I already mentioned how much it was further in the beginning but i'm gonna say it again right here for a good reference the greninja ex box from the uh 
GameStop was $30. Now, just with what is in the box alone, we get three promos and five packs. The packs are worth about $5 each, so that's $25 in just the packs alone. Meaning that between the three promos in the box, they're going to have to be worth $5 with just the three of them. To, uh, they're going to have to be worth $5 within the three of them just to even out and equal out the actual price of the box. You feel me? But just with that alone, I feel like the box is worth it. But if you add on top, the pulls we got from the IRL portion, despite the IRL portion losing the pack battle, I do believe with or without the pel the pulls we got tonight, I do believe that this box is worth the $30 price tag. I can't say the same thing about, uh, about the Armor Rouge EX box, even though it has more in it. But, yeah, for what you get in this box, I do believe that it is worth the price tag. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think down below. Now, I'm going to end the video off here, guys. So, if you like what you saw, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to check out my other socials, you can go to the above section of the channel or to the description of this video and all my other videos. And with that all being said, my name is Fate. This has been me unboxing the Greninja EX 